continuing our little series on getting the big picture of Excel one step at a time, let's look at icons, formatting, and views. There's a, a link in the explanation to a written document where you can read this on your own time. But there are four different mouse icons, the shapes of the mouse, that are really, really important in Excel. Each one has a specific purpose. And the most common cause of problems at the beginning is getting your mouse in the wrong place of the cell which results in the wrong icon, which results in the wrong activity. And so if you look at the online, or the um, text version, you can read them in detail. But I'm just making you aware of them here. Then you look at the hyperlink in the explanation. People are worried when they see Excel. But I want you to know again that Word and Excel are very similar. If you look at the Home tab, Look how similar they are. There are some differences, but not much, really. They work just about the same way. I'm reducing fear factor here. When you type in Excel, there are two different modes. There's the regular mode and the edit mode. And new students frequently get confused between them. They have different mouse icons, again. In regular mode, if you just click in the cell and start typing. And then, once you get out of it, then you can go back and do some formatting. Whereas if you're in actual edit mode, you can make changes to the text. As opposed to regular mode, where you can make changes to the format, bold or colors or whatever. In edit mode, you can make changes to the text. There are three ways to get into edit mode. One is to double click. Another one is to press the F2 key, which I've just started doing, and it's really handy. And the third way is up on that formula bar. You can click up there and type. And then to get out, you can press Enter or Tab, or for that matter, you can press the Escape key. Be aware that if you're in edit mode, many of the commands are disabled. So if you can't make them work, that's the first thing to check is whether you have the insertion bar or the hollow cross. Then there are different views of the screen. There are in Word as well, but we don't use them as much. In Excel, these are in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen or up on the View tab. There's the regular view where you do most of your work. And if you see the double, arrow, the, the double circle down here, let me take my mouse and show you right here. That's, that's where the, the little bar is that will give you the different views. The second one is the page layout view, which allows you to get into the headers if you need to have a header or footer or page number or something on your document. And the third, which we won't use too much in the beginning, allows you to rearrange the page breaks if you have a large spreadsheet. And that would be the page break preview. Again, those are up on the View tab or down in the bottom right-hand corner. And that's all there is to beginning views. Let's proceed to the next video and see what else we can learn.